Today we're going to talk about these bad boys. When it comes to cycling and fitness in general, I'm always looking at ways to make things more efficient, more comfortable, or just make things easier for me to execute healthy habits and do the right things that I know I should be doing. Training can be hard and that can be good, but I never want to put a barrier in place that gives me an excuse or just stops me doing some sort of exercise. So I find gear and gadgets a great thing to push me in the right direction. So I've swapped to Wahoo Speedplay pedals and now let's talk about it. First, here's some of the key reasons why I really wanted to try these pedals and swap to them and some reasons that you might want to do that as well. Now, I've used both road SPDs and mountain bike SPDs on my bikes and in the past I've mostly used mountain bike ones or more recently I've mostly used mountain bike ones and I just love the fact that you can clip in both sides and you can walk in the shoes which is really good for commuting. But with me doing more road riding now and some races and events coming up, I kind of wanted more of a road shoe, more of a road setup. And I also noticed on longer rides, I was getting some hot spots in my current shoes. So it seemed like a good time to swap, but I didn't really want to give up the double sided clipping in, which I've got used to on my mountain bike type pedals. And that meant that my attention got grabbed by the Speedplay pedals. And again, these also claim to be great for power transfer, considering you're right next to the spindles. And I could also wear any type of road shoe with these. So it seems like a perfect fit. So now I've given them a go, let's go over what I think about them and how I found swapping to them. But first quickly, here's a few other reasons why I've seen people swap to them. The first big one being injuries, namely knee injuries actually. And the speed pay pedals give you so much adjustability in terms of the float and it just seems much more forgiving on the knees. So I've seen a lot of people swap into them for that reason. You just get much more freedom of movement in the lower part of the body and you're not fixed into the position. But if you want to be fixed into the position, you still can, but you've got quite a lot of flex in terms of what position you wanna lock your feet in. And the only other reason I've seen people swap into these or one of the reasons that people give for swapping to these is they're meant to be quite lightweight. Now, the pedals themselves are lightweight and they do look really lightweight, but once you add up all the, the cleat system as well, I'm not sure if that makes much of a difference. So anyway, that's some reasons you might want to swap to these pedals. There seems to be some potential gains to be had and there isn't much that you're losing out on. Now, how have I found them? Well, let's go over the setting up to start off with. And that was a bit like learning a new language. The cleat system is super intense. It was just so foreign with all the sorts of little bits and bobs that I somehow had to assemble onto the bottom of the shoe. And with it being so much more complicated than any other cleats I was used to, I didn't want to have to redo it. So when I first put them on, I spent a lot of time over them. It probably took me about 40 minutes to put them on both shoes. So I can't complain too much. Um, and once it's done, it's done then, isn't it? But if you're expecting it to be a five minute job, just swapping them over, I would give yourself much more time than that and you wanna get them right and it is a little bit fiddly. And for me, if it was going to be the best system and it seemed like it could be really good, then it's definitely worth fiddling around for. Now, I won't show you how to put them on, but I'll put a link in the description to the Wahoo YouTube video, which I think is about eight minutes long, tells you how to set them up. Um, and it was actually a really good video and it was super helpful for me putting them on. Now the good stuff, when it comes to using them out on the road and on the turbo trainer, I personally love them so far. So let's go over that and then we'll go over maybe a couple of bad points as well. And to start off with, I wanna say, I don't think the power transfer is anything magic. It didn't make me feel like I was much faster and it certainly doesn't feel much different to Shimano pedals but it does feel really good and it feels like a solid platform to push power on. But the two big things I love about these the most is definitely clipping in both sides um, and that's great for, for commuting, it's great for long rides, it's great for stopping at traffic lights and also the amount of flow. I just love that freedom. So I feel I can get in and out fairly easy and I can put power down but I also have some wriggle room if I'm feeling hot spots or niggles or any certain areas on longer rides and I can have a little bit more freedom of movement. 
So really, so far, so good. I haven't used them for any kind of long period of time. I haven't used them for years or anything like that. So in terms of durability and maintenance, um, only time will tell. But so far, I like them a little bit more than my Shimano Rode or even the mountain bike pedals. Now, one of the bad points, and then something I'm just slightly concerned about, the bad thing about these is they're expensive. I can't remember exactly how much, but if you compare the basic Wahoo Speedplay pedal to a basic road or a mountain bike pedal, it's probably double the price, I reckon. And I'm also concerned about the durability and maintenance of these. You know, it feels good so far, but I've heard this can be a bit of an issue over time. And maybe I can do a review on that later on down the road. So in summary, I think they're definitely worth a try. And if you've got any sort of knee injuries or you want to clip in and out on both sides, but you want a road shoe, then, you know, I think this is worth a try. It's nothing magic in terms of the power transfer and efficiency. I haven't found that anyway but there is definitely a few good reasons for using this pedal system over another pedal system. Now let me know in the comments below what pedals you have, why do you have them, what are your favorite pedals. I'd be interested to hear some other opinions. Um, and if you wouldn't mind, if you did like this video, then give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you're into any of this fitnessy type stuff or any gear around cycling, running, weights, all that sort of good stuff and until my next video have a really good one and i'll see you then